Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. I don't know why this song is stuck in my head. What a pain, but it is day four of my Christmas series. Today, I will give you my thoughts on the new fragrance by Nasomato Fantoma or Fantomas. So if you wanna know my thoughts on this fragrance, make sure to keep on watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is about Fantomas. So Fantomas is the latest release from Nasomato, which is a niche brand. Now Nasomato is known for creating some pretty challenging fragrances, a quite daring and really interesting olfactively speaking. I own Black Afghano from the brand and I love it. It is a very powerful fragrance, so they are known for creating these really unique and powerful scents. Their fragrances come in an X-ray concentration, so the highest concentration of oil to alcohol that you can get in a fragrance. And I have to say, they are pretty pricey. I think they're around 180 pounds or so, or $180 for 30 ml. Now, one thing to know is with the Extrait de Parfum, you really don't need that much to intoxicate a room because as I said, the concentration is already very high. So this perfume is very unique and I would say it is a challenging scent. There's so many things going on in this perfume. First you'll get this really plasticky synthetic note. Now synthetic doesn't mean anything bad. It doesn't mean the fragrance is poor quality. Please take that out of your mind. This is what you're thinking. Synthetic can also mean very interesting and creative and certainly in this fragrance It's what it is the more I smell this fragrance the more it makes me think of latex the shiny surface of latex almost that synthetic feel of latex also the squeakiness of latex as you move not that I wear latex But you know in the movies you see that but you don't only get that you get as well some soil-like, earthy character, like gunpowder. I don't know th where this note comes from, but sort of like a gunpowder feel that is mixed with crushed, dry, earthy patchouli leaves. Now this fragrance is very different in the dry down. So it almost has two personalities, totally, totally different and almost polar opposites. You have this really weird thing going on in the opening and in the dry down, you're gonna get some fruitiness. And the fruitiness is one that smells of melon. So more of a fresh, ozonic melon fruitiness, almost like marine-like, which is really intriguing. And you also get a little bit of musk. It does become more agreeable in this dry down because of the melon and this initial latex gunpowder to earth patchouli will really tone down and will be more overtaken by the sweetness of melon and a bit of that musk. Definitely do not blind buy this fragrance. Do not do that. That is the worst idea that you could think of you need to test this perfume on your skin. It is a very polarizing scent, as with a lot of Nasumato fragrances, and also they're really expensive. So try and get your hand on a sample if you can't. If you can go in store and the stores are open, go into stores and smell the fragrance and see for yourself if you like it enough to splurge on it. Me personally, I wouldn't purchase the scent just because I don't think I would get a lot of use out of it. I wouldn't know when to wear it and for what occasion. So I just think for me personally, it's a waste of money, but you may enjoy this perfume. That was my take on Fantomas by Nasso Mato. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this scent. It would be interesting to see what you think about the scent, what you have smelt in this scent, if it's similar to my experience or if you smelt completely different notes. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you tomorrow for a new review. Bye.